learning plan classification of computers microcomputers mini computers mainframe computers supercomputers mighty i have seen only laptops and desktops what kind of computers are there besides these computers yes there are different types of computers having different features let's explore them the history of computers tells us that charles babbage is called the father of computers now in this chapter we will try to describe the types of computers and elaborate upon the classification of computers there are different types of computers having different features computers can be classified based on their size technology purpose classification of computers microcomputers mainframe computers mini computers supercomputers some more microprocessor chips are used in many devices such as ipods dvds headphone etc first microcomputers microcomputers came into picture as computers having single chip microprocessors they are the most common computers being used for domestic commercial purposes nowadays they also include solutions like desktop computers game consoles tablet computers and smartphones among others they are basically portable and occupy very less space main features the cpu is a single chip known as the microprocessor these are single user computers they are mainly used in offices and homes they are the least expensive generally they run on rechargeable batteries except desktop computers desktop laptop notebook palm top tablet smartphone examples desktop computer a personal or micro mini computer sufficient to fit a desk laptop computer a portable computer complete with an integrated screen and keyboard it is generally smaller in size than a desktop computer and larger than a notebook computer palm top computer digital diary notebook pdas a hand sized computer palm tops have no keyboard but the screen serves both as an input and output device smartphones smartbooks and pdas personal digital assistants are small handheld computers with limited hardware programmable calculator are small handhelds but specialized on mathematical work game console are fixed computers specialized for entertainment purposes embedded computer like in car computers car putters built into a car for entertainment or navigation washing machines watches atm machines automatic teller machine and the likes second mainframe computers mainframe computers are very large and expensive computers capable of supporting hundreds or even thousands of users simultaneously in the hierarchy that starts with a simple microprocessor and watches for example at the bottom and moves to supercomputers at the top mainframes are just below supercomputers in some ways mainframes are more powerful than supercomputers because they support more simultaneous programs but some computers can execute a single program faster than a mainframe examples vax8842 cdc6600 ibm4381 third mini computers a mini computer is a mid-sized computer in size and power mini computers lie between workstations and mainframes In the past decade the distinction between large mini computers and small mainframes has blurred however 
as has the distinction between small mini computers and workstations. But in general, a mini computer is a multiprocessing system capable of supporting from 4 to about 200 users simultaneously. Examples PDP 11, VAS PARC, Power, and Itanium based systems from Sun Microsystems, IBM, and Havlet Packard. 4. Supercomputers. Supercomputers are the most powerful of all computers. The fastest and most powerful type of computers, supercomputers, are very expensive and are employed for specialized applications that require immense amounts of mathematical calculations. For example, weather forecasting requires a supercomputer. Other uses of supercomputers include animated graphics, fluid dynamic calculations, nuclear energy research and petroleum exploration, etc. The chief difference between a supercomputer and a mainframe is that a supercomputer channels all its power into executing a few programs as fast as possible, whereas a mainframe uses its power to execute many programs concurrently. Examples Cray XDS HE, India's Param, IBM Blue Gene PK Computer. In winter, in 1958, Seymour Cray built the first completely transistorized supercomputer for the Control Data Corporation. Tick the correct option.